Yeah, Jurgen Klopp makes two changes to the team that drew in love with Manchester United. Trent Alexander-Arnold and Canate, they got a rest midweek. They come back into the team and be tested by an Arsenal front line. Endo has got an important role today, sitting in front of that back four. Jones and Sobers Live both scored midweek in the League Cup. Jones got a brace, actually. Both retain their place in the team. And then up front, Cody Gakpo comes in for Nunez. Just wonder if he's easier to play with, maybe build some possession up and keep the ball for, for Liverpool. And Mo Salah's the main man on that right-hand side. He's got 11 Premier League goals. Only Erling Haaland's got more in the league. Other side, Robbie, we see Arsenal. They would remain in first place, obviously, with a win. Also, a draw would keep them there. Yeah, no surprise. Mikel Arteta goes with the same 11 that played so well against Brighton last week. Two teams with the best defensive records in the league. And I would say Gabriel and Sleeva are the best centre-back partnership in, in the league. Ahead of them, Declan Rice looks every bit worth the $138 million that they paid for him, whether it's protecting the back four or scoring late. Habits, Kai Habits hit good form at a good time for Arsenal. Three goals in five Premier League appearances for him. Martinelli and Saka, I think, will keep Liverpool's full-backs honest by playing wide with their threat. And Gabriel Jesus likes playing against Liverpool. He's got nine goals in three assists in 14 appearances against the Reds. Welcome to Anfield, the historic home of English football's most decorated club. And today the setting for one of the biggest Premier League games of the season so far. It's Liverpool in red against Arsenal for the privilege of being top of the tree at Christmas. It's third against first. And it's Arsenal making the early incursion with Bukayo Saka. Up against Van Dijk, getting a useful ball in. Jesus, and a deflection, takes it narrowly wide. Very nearly a goal inside 30 seconds for the visitors. And the header on is comfortably pouched by Alisson. This is Erdegaard. Gabriel! Arsenal lead at Anfield. And that doesn't very often happen. A stunning early blow struck by the Gunners, bang in front of the cop. Well, Van Dijk's having a little look round. Just look at this ball, he's kind of had a bit of heighting from Odegaard. He looks onside and he gets up really early, no one gets anywhere near him. And one hesitates to second guess, he's but on. that line is green. So it has been determined that Gabriel is onside there, just as is Belton Braces checking the other areas of the attacking phase of play. They're all good, and the goal stands. Oh, what a start. They're showing their intent of getting the ball out to Saka early on and saying, go on, have a run at Liverpool, see if we can get a lead, and they got one early doors. Goodness me, have they ever. Two teams who have definitely come to play. Endo. Setting Diaz in motion. Diaz to the byline, and fire a defender, earns a corner. The referee plays on, it's Martinelli, it's Jesus. Simicas, it's Ben White, is that the awkward header? Endo. Comes for Salah! Saka. Saka's done well. Van Dijk in the way of the drive. That VAR check that Lee referred to is complete. White, Erdegaard. Alexander Arnold picking the ball up in that central area. And using one of those raking passes to find Salah. And opening Arsenal up, and here is Salah! <laughs> Just a classic of its type. Whatever the potential defensive shortcomings, a rapier of a shot from Salah after the most monstrous pass from Trent Alexander-Arnold. 
Too easy though. Too easy. Full back. The deepest one. Zinchenko. His position not good enough. From this point on, he's going to go on his left foot. He wants to go on his left foot. It doesn't do enough to stop that happening. As soon as he gets on the inside of you as a fullback, he's hitting one thing and one thing only, and that's a shot with his laces. A little extra touch just gives him a bit more time, and Gabriel can't get over. Sinchoko's not done enough to stop that shot. And we said that's the vulnerability of Arsenal at the back. Sinchenko one on one, and there it is in a nutshell. Raya. And Gomez puts Van Dijk in trouble. This is his Havertz. Now it's Erdegaard. Sacco is ready to hit that on the volley until the intervention of Van Dijk. Ben White. Oh, and Saka. And Martinelli arrives. And Gabriel Martinelli, not quite with the goal at his mercy, but with a very good chance. He got away with one there because he gets done on the inside where we say never get done as a fullback on the inside and Saka gets away. Maybe less of a player might have gone down there with Alisson. And a guy caught in possession. Salah. Reflection took the sting out of it. Lukayo Saka. Breathless opening to the second period. Martinelli. That's great defending from Canate because it looked like Martinelli got away from him. Salah down the other end. Gabriel in retreat but gets a piece of it. That was Diaz and he didn't catch it in any way sweetly. He had a, a decent goal themselves disallowed. Here's Salah. Zinchenko's the most relieved man out there. Diaz, Joe Gomez. And Gomez! Oh, we nearly had a career moment for the one-time England defender. Saka. Ball in the middle for Arsenal in this attack. Goes into a good area, brought down by Erdegaard. It's Sinchenko! And then we've got Wolves-Chelsea to polish things off tomorrow at 8am Eastern on USA. That's the final fixture before Christmas. Sobos life for Liverpool. Harvey Elliott, who had a go, it took a deflection, it grazed a post and it's a corner. Saka. It was Gomez. And then confusion between Zinchenko and Odegaard, and Liverpool have numbers, and some. Five against two here, Alexander-Arnold! Gravenbeck. Elliot. Gomez. Alexander-Arnold. Darwin Nunez. Trossard. Havertz. Even as he was falling, he was looking round at the referee without particular conviction. Here's Trossard for Arsenal. And now it's Havertz. And now Arsenal amplify their question about a potential penalty. Saka. There's a hefty deflection on that, it's going to be a corner. Gravenberg. Zinchenko. Corner prevented, and that may just about take us through to Chris Kavanagh's whistle. It ends all square.
Arsenal are the Christmas number one for the second year in a row. And uh, a contest that was combative throughout, engaging for the most part, energy sapping, ends 1-1. It means that Liverpool failed to win at home for the second weekend in a row. But there was so much to admire. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.